In this lesson, I want to go and explain how to draw a rectangle holding your mouse and separate it, or how to draw polygons. When these sitting, when this comment will be finished, and we finishing the curve drawing in a rhino, and after that we are going to the curve editing tools. And after that, those are very uh, simple. <coughs> First, we can select and click on rectangle corner to corner. Uh, click and click. This is corner to corner. All of those settings, uh, 3D point is here and but the rounder is here, but you can access them here. If before clicking, you have access to all of those settings before rounded, you can go in around the curve. For example, if you draw a curve here, go into the perspective, <clears throat> for example make it a 3d like this you can draw that rectangle around that curve select it before drawing around the curve because we have to identify if the curve was selected it's automatically done and you can the center of your drawing is snap to the curve and you can select your draw your rectangle around that curve That's nice. And another is uh, rectangle center to corner. It's you, you first identify center of your square and your rectangle and then select it. If you hold shift, you can draw a, a square like this. And done. And you can make a rounded. I explained this tool here. You can uh, select a three points. One, two, three. You can identify three point. This is in, <clears throat> interesting in a 3D. For example, you can draw uh, two rectangle here. For as we can see, I want to use a smart track here to track in this direction. Activate a smart track going almost there and done. I explained a smart track in the previous lesson. Going to the perspective and bring one of them up <clears throat> i want to use the three point square here identify one two three here and the end near and point and middle snap will be activated uh, it's activated here i explained them before so this is another example of that <clears throat> Here, if you want to go into drawing perspective, you can a rectangle vertical. Mm -hmm. Draw a vertical rectangle, simple. And here is a rounded, you can click, click, and drag your mouse to make your curve rounded. You can access them in, in other settings, in those settings, <coughs> in those common. We have two modes arc the arc means this uh, corner is a part of the circle and it is nice and unified but you can make it click and conic the conic are exactly curve and you know the conic are here i explained that before this is exactly the curve but the ar uh, arc is a part of the circle and you can see the different between You can see this is arc this is conic and here you can uh, draw a polygon first you have to select the number side for example a four nine everything enter number side first for a center and then for radius and uh, when you select that we have two mode inscribed and circumscribed. We can select them. Edge, a star vertical around the curve. We can select it around the curve. You know that those uh, these settings are separated here in, X, in a separate icon. But I want to explain different of uh, circum uh, circumscribed. Circumscribed is like this. You imagine a circle here. The uh, polygon is. Uh, Outside of that, inscribed means this. Imagine a circle that the polygon is inside that. This is different between inscribed and circumscribed. 
that's easy <clears throat> another polygon is you can identify center and your most in a uh, body of the edge this is edge you can identify the edge by edge you can draw edge click click if you want to draw the other side you have to make it flip okay <clears throat> this is edge by edge this is very useful in some time if you want to draw it in this direction you can flip it okay if you want to make another way flip it you can flip the direction of the edge this is uh, by edge here you can another sitting nothing you can set the number side and you can you can draw a vertical if you want in a 3d you can uh, draw a square without holding shift simple square you can draw a circle with uh, center and the edge you can edge by edge if you as you can see you can try it if uh, it it's uh, if it draw in a wrong direction flip it done okay here you can draw a star first you have to select the sides for example eight hit enter you can make it vertical or around the curve but first for <clears throat> first for center the second for the radius outside or inside and second click third click for defining a star and after that you can select it and edit it okay those are the last curve drawing tool in a rhino and after that we are going to the edit them to draw our curve and combine them edit them change them with those interesting settings here okay hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release